All right, so we got our columns in, and now we're going to go in and put the horizontals that run two inches above finished grade and two inches below the bottom of the soffit at 10 feet. And so let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, looks like I missed a column here. So let's go ahead and get that guy in too. So I'll go to top of slab and fix that column placement real quick. So I'm going to pick that guy and copy him right from there to there. Get him in there. So now I want a beam. <clears throat> now I'm going to assume that finished grade is six inches below the slab, so six inches below zero. So we need to have that that horizontal beam beams running um, from <clears throat> at four inches, right, uh, below zero zero. So let's just go ahead and um, pull those beams in here. We can't use columns as beams, so I'm going to go to structure and beam. And we got some wide flanges, but I'm going to go to load family, and I am going to go up out of the columns <clears throat> and down to structural framing, which is what we need for beams. And go to steel, <clears throat> and you'll say that there is a HSS in there as well. So I'm going to click open, and I need to, of course, load the 4x4 by 3 16 So there it is, and click OK. All right, so <clears throat> this is at reference level top of slab, right, and I can come and pick, I can tell the Z offset value to be negative four inches, right, so negative four inches, and that will pop it down. So I will come in and pick at the center of that column, go to the center of that column, go from, let's go from this end down here, from there to there, and, whoops, I lost my beam command. So let's go back to beam. And I'll go from there to there. Now, if your beams and columns aren't showing, you're going to want to come in and go to medium instead of coarse. Coarse will show them as just lines, and medium will show them as <clears throat> full on pieces. So if I go to 3D, right, you can see those guys coming in. So I'll go ahead and finish those off. Go to top of slab, and I'm just going to pick this one and create similar, and come down here, go from the center of that to the center of that. I'll come down here, start down here, go from the center of that the center of that. There is no steel beam here because that's the garage door. So I'm just going to come over here, center of that, center of that, and then I'll come over here and center of that. You could chain these two and they would pick differently. So now if I go to 3D, I've got those guys. Now what I can do is I can pick one of these, select all instances visible in in entire project, right? So it picks all of them. I can copy them. So I'm going to come to my modify and there's a copy command or you can control C. And then I'm going to go to paste align to selected levels. And I'm going to paste those to bottom of parapet and click OK. And you're going to see it pops those guys right in. They're a little high, right? So, um, so if I come in and select these guys, I think they're negative, they're going to be negative four, right? And we only want them to be negative two inches from here, right? So I think that's right. So now we've got those guys in place, all right? Um, the last thing you need to do is come and put the intermediary um, two by fours in here, um, which I'm not sure how often they happen. Um, it's kind of not clear when they happen. I would think they would happen here and maybe here and here. Um, but you can check that out and then go ahead and put those guys in there.